November 16, 1995. While at Cinnabar Island on the coast, I met a strange Pokemon. It looks like blocks, but together, it made a backwards L. So after observing it, I decided to catch it. November 19, 1995. After observing the strange creature, I decided to see how it fought in a Pokemon battle. After training it, it seems it uses water gun a lot and sky attack. So in conclusion, I think it's a normal slash flying type. November 20th, 1995. Today it evolved into a Kangaskhan for some odd reason. It looked like a normal... What? But it had an egg in its pouch. November 23rd, 1995. The egg hatched, but the Kangaskhan won't care for it at all. I try to feed it and play with it, but it still won't do anything. November 24th, 1995. I've decided to give the infant Pokemon to a trainer in Lavender Town. He said he would take good care of her. November 30th, 1995. After the long drive to Lavender Town, I met the young boy. He said thanks for the Kangaskhan. December 1st, 1995. The young boy called me from the Pokemon Center and said that she went missing. December 3rd, 1995. I've decided to help the boy find the young Pokemon. Who knows what trouble it's gotten into. December 9th, 1995. After a long drive, I arrived. He told me while looking for a Cubone, it was very rare, and answered his call. December 10th, 1995. My hypothesis says that a wild Kangaskhan infant will find a skull and become a Cubone. That's what I think happened to her. December 15th, 1995. The boy's been treating the Cubone well, which was good to hear, but I still wonder why the Kangaskhan didn't take care of her infant. December 17th, 1995. I've decided to let Kangaskhan free. I'll miss her, but it's better this way. December 24th, 1995. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm going to spend Christmas with Blue and Daisy this year. December 25th, 1995. The boy contacted me and told me that the Cubone evolved into a Marowak and had an egg. I was surprised, because he hadn't had her for a long time. January 24th, 1996. Red and Green finally decided to become trainers, so I supplied Green with an Eevee and Red with a Pikachu. Also, the Marowak's egg is hatched today. February 12th, 1996. The evil team Rocket killed Marowak and left the Cubone alone. Green explained it all. Also, he told me that his Raticate died. Red told me that a strange ghost has blocked the path to Mr. Fuji. February 17th, 1996. Red told me the ghost was the Marowak. The team Rocket killed I was shocked at this information when he told me. December 14th, 1997. I found out that Kangaskhan was a missing link in Pokemon Science, so I decided to name it Missing Note.